Yes, my dear all, uh, this is <coughs> third lesson uh, revision from our textbook Hornbill. Lesson 3 from Hornbill textbook, Discovering that the Saga Continues. So, Discovering that the Saga Continues, it is like already I told you that we have uh, uh, come across everything and uh, <coughs> this is a revision. So, uh, very important things alone we are going to discuss. It is like summing up the lesson. Once again, we are just uh, summing up the lesson. So, Discovering. Well, uh, seeing the topic, you know, discovering Tut. The Tut are, uh, are king, Paro, Egyptian Paro. We are seeing that Paro means the title of an Egyptian king. So, still, now we are going to discuss many things about Egypt, Egypt and, of course, ancient Egypt and the Egyptian king, Paro, the dynasty and everything. Right? Of course, in Egypt, Egypt, whenever we are speaking about Egypt, what are the things we are going to see that I will also scroll, you will also see that. Discovering. So, we are just finding out which is there already. So we are just we know the differentiation invention and of course discovery so here discovering that it is like an investigation what is the reason behind this death that's death the saga continues saga means we are considering that saga in the sense saga means history or legend which is continuing so the saga continues still we are also having that we whenever we are looking at drum it, you know and of course mommy whenever we are hearing that mommy we we still have that you know surprise that amusement something you know something amusement yes like you can also see the image images uh, discovering that the saga continues by A. williams and the second image you can see that image of tut so tut titan harton or titan herman this uh, he is known as tut tut is the egyptian king the image of tut and then it is mummy outer outer coffin we are seeing that and this is in the egyptian pyramids so it is one of the world wonders still it is being considered so egypt egypt and of course pyramids uh, something you know it is like mystery behind that and uh, the knowledge tendency how they constructed it is something you know beyond our imagination so egyptian pyramids and inside the pyramids so inside the pyramids the mural wall painting and the systematic approach how they have done that that's why it is known as a mystery that's why it is considered as one of the world wonders in the world then some of the researchers in the next image you could see that some of the researchers they were finding out they were also doing something you know doing research and now we we, we are seeing that 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 is known as mummy outer coffin uh, that is known as you know burial burial chamber we consider burial chamber and inside that <coughs> what we have mummy mummy is you know what is the meaning mummy and everything we came across even in movies also we saw that so this is the mummy and of course this is an outer coffin next image also you could see that outer coffin and here researcher or you know even our uh, three three fellows we are going to discuss in the lesson so how they were doing you know they just open and they were doing their uh, uh, research work and I, I identified and of course they uh, recreated forensic reconstruction and of course they recreated the boy's face that is that 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 Hatton. He, he died when he was a youngster and that's why it was a mystery and they started to find out the reasons why he was you know died like then A. Williams he is a rather A. Williams now you are seeing that very important part in this lesson as uh, the CT scan you know what is the meaning CT scan right a scanner we are doing that a computer tomography like you know we are saying that scanner computer tomography scanner CT scan we are also going to discuss so discovering that, uh, discovering that the saga continues. Now you are seeing the theme, general theme. So discovering that the saga continues, theme of the lesson. I'm just reading and explaining the concept. It is like summing up. You can also travel along with me and you will revise the things. Everything we, you know, we, uh, everything I taught in a, very, uh, in, in a detailed manner. Now it is like only already told you that it is like summing up the things and uh, revising the chapter. So discovering that the saga continues. The story deals with the mysteries and various theories regarding the life and death of the youngest ruler of France in Egypt, Tutankhamun. He was, you know, he was called known as something it's like, you know, known, a name or kind like Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun or Tutankhamun. So the story deals with the mysteries. You know, what's the meaning of mystery? Mystery is, is something you know, unclear. Mysteries and various theories, of course, regarding the life and death of the youngest ruler. The youngest ruler, that is very important, you, you should identify that. He was a boyish, boyish, you know, uh, young ruler. Youngest ruler of ancient Egypt, ancient Egypt, Tutankhamun, and his tomb was discovered. You know what is the meaning of tomb in the sense? It was, uh, it was known as like burial chamber. 
So his tomb was discovered in 1922 by the famous archaeologist Howard Carter, and since then his mummy has been subjected. That means he has undergone to uh, X-ray and later a CT scan. You understand that? That was you know undergone, subjected to X-ray as well as CT scan, and they identified. They also found. They also just you know it's like uh, in reveal. They also they just revealed many things. That's why it is known as secrets. These investigations have answered a lot of questions and answered new clues on this life and death. There are two things: life and death. That is very important. Like, so this is the general theme of the lesson: discovering that the saga continues. Then the characters. So discovering that the saga continues about the characters. We have some of the characters before <coughs> entering into the lesson. We should know that first one is King Tut. So King Tut. The last heir of a powerful family. You know what is the meaning heir in the sense the follower or inheritor. We are saying the next one in the line, the family line. The last heir of a powerful family that had ruled Egypt and its empire for centuries. This is very 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 important for centuries. And his preserved body was first to be scanned. That's why it is known as something you know discovering that discovered. They identified. That's why it is something like. You know, it is a different activity. You know, it it is something you know called it is a different activity. It's preserved body that was in the mummy. That means in the inside the mummy. That's why it did something you know preserved. This preserved body was the first to be scanned. King Tut. Next character we should see that uh, Coward Cutter. So Coward Cutter. Uh, here we have three characters. I will discuss with you later. Now you can see that Howard Cutter, the British archaeologist. You know what is the meaning of archaeology. The British archaeologist who, in 1922, discovered King Tut's tomb, a search caused great damage to the king's preserved body. Ah, well, whenever we are doing that, of course, it will happen. It will occur. Whenever we are, you know, doing some research, whenever we are analyzing that, we will also hurt something. We will damage. As it is here, you know, when he was taken, when he, when when that body was taken here, and that means you know, discovered and undergone some research. That means an analysis. Like that's why. The search caused great damage. Something you know, they hit it. He wanted to reach the things, whatever the determination, whatever he just planned, and he executed. By that, that the body was totally. That means preserved body. You understand? Was damaged. So, nineteen twenty-two, it was taken place. Then next one is Sahi Kawas. Sahi Kawas, the Secretary General of Egypt, General of Egypt, Supreme Court, uh, Supreme Council of Antiquities. And he scanned King Tut's mummy for an accurate forensic reconstruction. So we have three uh, personalities: Howard Carter, and then um, an anatomy professor who did X-ray. So Howard Howard Carter did some research. So that was a primary work, and he damaged the body totally. Then after forty years, like an anatomy professor who X-rayed the mummy of King Tut. Then in two thousand five, our uh, Sahih Kawas, the Secretary General of Egypt, the Supreme Court, the Council of Antiquities, he scanned King's mummies, uh, King Tut's mummy, for an accurate forensic reconstruction. So three of the characters, three of them, those three of them only. So Howard Carter, Sahih Kawas, and anatomy professor, uh, they just did that and found everything. They just revealed the secret. What was the mystery behind this death? And the next character you could see that Amenhotep. Amenhotep III, king, king, he considered he was considered like King Tut's father or grandfather. We cannot say either father or grandfather. You can take that. Uh, Amenhotep III was the father of King Tut, and he was a powerful ruler who ruled for almost four decades. So forty years, around forty years, he just ruled in ancient Egypt. That's why he was very famous in uh, ancient Egypt, especially in ancient dynasty, like in the history of ancient Egypt. The Naman had a four. Very easily we can identify that Naman had a three. One king's father or grandfather was a powerful ruler who ruled for almost four decades. And the Naman had a four. He promoted the worship. That means you know, the son of the son of we are considering that Naman had a three. He promoted and after after taking you know empire something, he he adapted something. So according to his knowledge, so he promoted the worship of Aten and changed his name to Aten. Amen. Amen. Hot. We are saying, you know, that means Tatan Tatan Amen Lake. Tatan Amen. Tatan Aten. Like we see, Amen Hot up to Aten Aten because of Aten. Worshipped Aten. Aten is the son of God. 
that is the sun god Pilker write that here he promoted the worship of Athen and changed his name to Hanipan. He outraged, outraged in the sense totally collapsed. You understand that? That means showed his anchor, intense anchor. He outraged the country by attacking Amun, a major god, by smashing his image uh, and uh, images and closing his temples. You understand that? So Amun, Amun had four. He was a different, a different. Uh, a ruler from that particular dynasty that means you know was bloodline then he changed something so he promoted worship of Athen uh, instead of Amun you understand that Amun instead of Amun Amun was the major god of ancient Egypt but he smashed everything and collapsed everything closed everything then he promoted Athen and he considered and by that imp impact he has he just changed his name uh, it's like Amun Hatab to Ahenetan then when we talk about the summary just i'm reading and explaining you can also see the uh, subtopics death 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 of king tut you know what was what was the you know thing we can also see that death of king tut king tut was just a teenager when he died that is very important that's why it was considered so king tut was just a teenager when he died and he was the last child of a powerful family that had a ruled egypt and its empire for centuries you understand that and he was buried in forgotten over the years everything will even we are not talking about you know once you know even alexander the great and of course socrates plato aristotle many of them even Winston Churchill, stole joseph stalin and uh, you know Mussolini, hitler uh, lenin uh, even abraham lincoln even in mahatma Gandhi. why of course it is happening like that you know after they you know he was buried and forgotten over the years even we are not you know nowadays we are not talking about Alexander the great who started to you know rule the world so likewise here even even centuries also he was after his death he was buried and forgotten over the years but after the discovery of his tomb in 1922 the modern world wondered about the cause of his un untimely death of course there is there is some suspicious things so the world started to inquire well the world started to you know even criticize or gossip that's why so the modern world wondered about that means he expected about the cause of his untimely death it is like you know it is like an unfortunate this is the unfortunate of that particular king so that everybody started to ask question and inquire he was brought out a storm and recently a city scan was done to ascertain the reason of his death you know it, that was something amazing that was a different activity that's why it considered and it, it just you know promoted as a lesson that's why CT scan was done to us a time. So that means, you know, maybe find out, you know, maybe identify the reason of his death. The second topic, you can see that subtopic, the mummy of King Tut. Then a mummy of uh, King Tut at uh, 6 p.m. on uh, 5th January 2005, the world's most famous mummy, preserved by you, was taken out from its burial tomb. That was by our Sahil Abbas. You understand that general secretary as the mummy of of king that was being put into the scanner for performing a ct scan that that time something was you know mystery something was unclear something happened of course you know it's like many many movies especially in the hollywood movies or something in you know, a ghost or evil like movies whenever we we are seeing that we saw many things you know related to like so and when it that play that that active was activity was taken place Angry winds still stirred and dark clouds covered the stars. Some different activities on the sky. That was something you know as symbolization. That's like symbolizing that angry winds still. That means you know the nature doesn't accept that. Maybe the god, the protecting something. And after after death, the god was watching and the day the god was creating some. You know it's like activities that are threatening. So angry winds still and dark clouds covered the stars. The weather had been overcast all day and the night. The sky was hidden by dark bellied clouds. A different activity. It's like you know, Tom. We are saying that it's like tempest. It is like tempest means this uh, maybe a cyclone. A different activity or uh, climatic conditions and changes when that active activity was because it was taken from the burial ground and it was undergone a CT scan. That was a different activity in the world in the modern world. The weather had been overcast all day and the night sky was hidden by dark bellied clouds. The CT scan was being done to the unearth the remaining unearth the remaining medical mysteries that surrounded the untimely death of this young king who died more than 3,300 years ago. 
that is very important something something was in a different activity and king that's tomb lies 26 feet underground and in the ancient egyptian cemetery you know what is the main cemetery that symmetrical construction and in the burial ground inside that known as the valley of the king and tourists from around the world came to visit the tomb to pay their respect when it was you know reached the world that's why tourists from various places and they also came and they also they they wanted to visit because of curiosity visit the tomb to pay the respect and of course you know they they wanted to pay their respect so that they just came and of course they gazed at the murals so when they were looking at that they inside the mummy and then and gazed gazed looking keenly at the murals murals means wall painting on the walls so murals on the walls and of the burial chamber and looked at the king's that's gilded that means you know uh, totally ornamented gilded face on the lid of first uh, outer coffin the visitors were curious and thoughtful and they were just you know thinking that they were doing a prayer and showing their respect they were murmuring they were murmuring in the sense you know murmuring or gossiping or speaking or gossiping or criticizing some feared the pharaoh's curse and they were thinking that the climatic changes condition and they considered uh, some feared in the sense they were being something you know threatened the pharaoh's curse would befall those who disturb them you understand that of course once in the chapter is over we should leave that we should not you know dig out and we should not you know uh, analyze that likewise when they have done that they thought like that the third uh, subtopic you can see that Howard Carter and his findings so, so first one Howard Carter the second one anatomy of philosopher third one Sahih Kavos so Howard Carter and his findings uh, Howard uh, Carter was a British archaeologist from England British archaeologist who in 1922 discovered King Tut's tomb after years of futile searching you know what is the meaning futile means maybe it's like pointless pointless searching or uh, something uh, Maybe we are saying that futile, useless. So it contains remain the richest royal collection ever found. You know what is the meaning? Uh, richest royal collection. They had a system. They had a, a belief like that's why after the death there were life like. So they were uh, dazzling works of art in gold and that had caused a sensation then, and continue to draw people's attention even today. That's why Pramit Pramit is also one of the world wonders. So King Tut was also buried with everyday things such as bow games. And a bronze razor and cases of food and the clothes wine and so on that he would need in that life after death they believe that you know we are still we are believing that after our death also we will have a life in in the kingdom of almighty so saika was the secretary of general egypt supreme council of antiquities explained that the mummy was in a very bad condition when he found once again in 2005 when he was you know doing that uh, scanning work he found that uh, mummy was in very bad condition because of what Howard Carter did to it. Something in Howard Carter found the King Tut's body in the three nested coffin. And in the first coffin, he found a shroud decorated with the garlands of willow and olive leaves, while the celery, lotus petals, and cornflowers, which indicated the burial took place in March or April month. Seasonal effect. So everything he identified, you want to cover the heart. When he finally reached the mummy, the second uh, coffin nested also was broken. Then he just reached the mummy. When he finally reached the mummy, he ran into troubles. Maybe, maybe for an example, the ritual, ritual resins had hardened. And they used to something, you know, resins. Resins in the sense like, you know, we say that something. It is like pasting the things. So here covering the things, it is like plaster. Like the ritual resins had hardened means cementing King studs to the bottom of the solid gold coffin that means you know that it was very hard to remove and do research so howard carter had to sizzle out king stats mummy he started to you know cut sizzle in the sense cut so it's like a quick revision my dear please uh, just you know uh, understand howard carter tried to loosen the resins by putting the mummy outside in the sun that heated it to 149 degrees fahrenheit so for several hours the mummy was set out in blazing sunshine but nothing happened so that was also a trouble that's why he ran into troubles so he reported that the tough materials had had to be cut from under the limbs and trunks to free the king's remains so that they they did that they just cut the major joints they just cut and they did that then they did their research and just once again they are reasonable then kept away the royals in the king Tut's time believed that they could take their fortune with them after the death so hence uh, king Tut was buried with all his expensive belongings to separate king Tut from his ornaments howard carter's men removed the mummy's head and cut off nearly every major joint 
then they reassemble the after doing after doing the research then they reassemble the remains that means you know body parts of the body or in a layer of sand in a wooden box with padding they have done that then an anatomy professor has done something so king tut's mummy x-ray that x-ray work x-ray work by an anatomy professor so archaeology has changed since then focusing less on treasures and more on the fascinating details of life and fascinating mysteries of death you understand archaeology it's like digging up changing digging out and searching and finding out the mysteries discovering the things like that more than that more than the ornaments treasures what just kept inside they they were you know they were concentrating on the fascinating things then it also uses more sophisticated tools in 1968 so 1922 up to that 1968 more than 40 years of ter Howard Carter's discovery, an anatomy professor extracted the mummy and revealed an astonishing fact that beneath the resin that caked King Tut's chest, his breastbone and the front ribs were missing. How it was taken place, nobody knows. Nobody knew that. That means you know, after forty years of this Howard Carter's research, an anatomy professor he also did the same, and he just you know extracted King Tut's mummy, and he found that there was something missing. That's why his breastbone and front ribs were missing, and King Tut's demise was a big event, and he identified that demise in the sense death. So King Tut's demise was a big event, even by royal standards, as he was the last ruler of his family, and his funeral meant that means funeral, the last that means you know last stage. So his funeral meant the the end of the royal dynasty. So while while uh, identifying doing X-ray, uh, anatomy professor came to know that. This funeral meant the end of a royal dynasty. You know, dynasty that means the bloodline. Something it's like Latum. We are saying, you know, it's like Raja Rajan. We have something. It's like we have a bloodline. Like that means you know, an order. That's why Sakthi, Latum, Aristotle, Alexander the Great. We have some of them. Like so here, uh, that's uh, that's uh, King. That's uh, demise was death was a big event, even by royal standards, as he was the last ruler of his family, and his funeral meant the end of a royal dynasty. But But the fact of his death and its consequences are unclear. So after this, even X-ray also, uh, research also, analysis also, the reason behind his death was unclear. So King Tut's and his uh, ancestors. We we before you know we are going to the CT scan dis discussion. We should know that the King Tut and the, his you know ancestors. Yes. Ancestors, uh, King Tut's father or grandfather, I mean, had a three years of awful king who ruled for almost four decades, and his son Ahmed uh, uh, Amin had a four succeeded him. That means you know he just took the empire. That means we are. That means saying that that is known as ruling, ruling, or we can go for the throne, right? So Amin had a four succeeded him, and he was a very strange king. He promoted the worship of Aten, the sun disk. The sun god and uh, a change was made to Ahimeta. That that's why, by his impact, by the impact of Adam, Adam the sun, the sun god, and he removed a religious capital from uh, Thebes to Ahimeta, now known as Amarna, and he shocked the country by attacking a major god Amun, major god of ancient Egypt Amun, by breaking his images and closing down his temples. So Ray Johnson, Ray Johnson, the director of uh, the University of Chicago, so research center and lecturer, called this a uh, very king, very odd. That means you know he was a different uh, ruler in the ancient Egypt. That's why he comes from like that. And he said that must have been a terrible time for the people because the family that had ruled for centuries was coming to an end because of the activity by Amenhotep IV. After Akhenaten's death. So after his death, after I mean Akhenaten or I mean after Ford's death, Smenhare, a mysterious, mysterious ruler, because he was the you know higher of Aten Akhenaten. So Smenhare, a mysterious ruler, ruled for a brief period and departed, departed with hardly any. That means you know after his also uh, there was a you know king who ruled a very short time and he was not very famous and he was something you know mysterious. He, he departed. With hardly any sign, in the sense he didn't create any history in the history of ancient Egypt, and it was then that the very young King Tutankhamun took over the throne. You understand that this is a line, bloodline, a history behind that. The boy soon changed his name to Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun, in the sense, known as the King Tut today, and he oversaw revival of the old ways. That means you know he just changed 
from heaven or to go to that means that means in you know, whatever agnatan agnatan means atom the, the, he started to believe and something was it sun god now he just changed his old way when he took his throne so here the boy soon changed his name to uh, tetan tetan atom to tetan hamun tetan hamun that means in you know, amun a m u n tetan hamun known as king tet today and he over oversaw revival of old ways king tet ruled for 9 years and then died unexpectedly that's why we are doing that research my dear you can also see that the final stage we have come now king tet's mummy and it's a ct scan so our king tet is one 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 mummy among many in egypt around 600 still it is being found there. so no one knows how many mummies uh, there in egypt the egyptian mummy project has recorded almost 600 and we're still counting and king tet's mummy was the first mummy to be uh, ct scanned it was the time the secret of his death by you know portable scanner donated by national geographic society and uh, siemens king tet's entire body was scanned on the night of the scan workmen carried him from the town and rose it on a hydraulic lift into the trailer that held the scan this is the activity they the, the in 2005 they have done that and however initially the costly you know scanner would not function properly because of the sand in the polar fan but soon all the hurdles were crossed and after the scan the king uh, was returned to his coffin to the rest in peace they just did that and what was the struggle we can see that the ct scan showed an astonishing image of king tut and his entire body was revealed when it showed a gray head neck vertebral vertebrate a hand or several images of rib cage and a section of the skull and psychos was uh, relieved that you know nothing had seriously gone wrong so something you know they just uh, struggled a lot but anyhow they completed the research they did ct scan as the technicians left the trailer they saw the star constellation which the ancient egyptian knew as the soul of osiris soul of osiris you can see that that means you know soul of osiris means we could see that the god of the afterlife which was taking you know protecting that protecting the uh, body of tutankhamun they felt as if the god was watching over the boy king this is what they just did the ct scan up to that we have in our lesson but what was the secret behind it that is still unclear and you can also see the chapter highlights i can also be the quick manner you can also see that Uh, Tatan chapter highlights Tatan Haman or uh, King Tat died as a teenage pharaoh and was buried laden with uh, gold. He was the uh, last king of a powerful family that ruled Egypt for centuries. On 5th January 2005, his mummy was brought out of his tomb and a CT scan was done to ascertain the uh, reason of his death. And multitudes of tourists from around the world came to visit the tomb to pay their respect. Sai Hawass, Secretary General of Egypt. Supreme Council of Antiquities said that the mummy was in a very bad condition because of what Carter did to it. Howard Carter, the British archaeologist, discovered King Tut's tomb in 1922 and investigated its contents. Carter faced difficulty in extracting the mummy out of the coffin. The ritual was in sad, hard, and resulting in cementing. King Tut's mummy to the bottom of his gold coffin. Howard Carter tried to loosen the resins using the sand. but in vain that means useless as men thus removed the mummy's head and cut off nearly every major joint before the assembly in 1968 in anatomy professor x ray the mummy and revealed the startling fact he claimed that the breast bone and of course the front ribs of the mummy were missing amenhotep 3 king tut's father or grandfather was a powerful king he was succeeded by amenhotep 4 who promoted the worship of aten the sun disk and changed his name to akhenaten He made some other changes. King Tut's mummy was one of the first mummies to be scanned. The CT scan showed a grey head, neck vertebrate, a hand, several images, a hand, several images of rib cage and the section of the skull. Sai Hawass was relieved to find that nothing had gone seriously wrong with the mummy. So after their observation and research, when they left the wind, when they left the wind had stopped. And there was complete silence just above the entrance. Door. You understand that the means you know uh, when they just you know did and returned. That means you know once again they kept the mummy in the burial chamber. The climatic condition, everything was you know became became it's like you know was become normal because the god was watching and uh, bec- uh, making everything normal. And this is a belief. And King Tut's tomb uh, stood Orion, the constellation watching 
over the bike. That means no osuris, osuris, and after that, the god of after that was watching the boys next time. Right? This is what we need to revise for the weekly test. I hope that you understood and revised the thing. If anything, you can also discuss with me, ask me the doubts, I will clear. Okay, sir. Thank you. Discovering that the Saha continues. Discovering that the Saha continues by A.R. Williams.